Hey guys, Sun down here. This is gonna be my chapter review to One Piece 918 or 918. Luffy Taro repays the favor. Now I really like just off the bat, this chapter was awesome. I really enjoyed everything. The little minor details of this chapter, the echoes of Ace we got from Luffy and and, and like we have uh, Otana recognizing and like seeing the resemblance between Luffy and Ace because you have to remember she doesn't know that Ace is or was is Luffy's brother, even though he's dead. So. Um, the, just those little echoes and the little things we saw and even like uh, little bits and pieces between Law and Hawkins there are so many things in this chapter which I really like so for me it was like a straight 9, 9.5 out of 10 really solid chapter so let's go straight through it so the cover page or the cover story is uh, now it's concluding the whole self-proclaimed uh, Straw Hat Grand Fleet kind of thing so now we're just going through each of the, um, each of the uh, members of this Grand Fleet and we start with uh, the Hapo Navy Don side, and in the middle we have Bartle Clubs, Bartle Mayo, and then we have on the right side the beautiful Pirates' is Cavendish, and I think we're going to go through all, all of the captains uh, much like this fashion, so just seeing them three at a time or two at a time uh, until we go through all of them. So that's pretty cool. But we start the chapter with, uh, so everyone's kind of reacting to Holden just getting wrecked, and I told you guys last chapter, Holden's not going to get up from a red hawk to the face. Not many people of like uh, people of like Holden's caliber, just seeing his character, he wasn't going to get up from a red hawk to the face. So Otama's there, she's shocked. Every uh, All the kind of gifters and stuff like that, they're shocked at the fact that Holden just got wrecked in the face. And Zoro is just like, oh man, like Luffy, did you have to, did you have to go and do it? But he continues with... Um, Okiku straight toward, towards the gate out of the towards the town's uh, entrance or exit So we have speed which is one of the headliners She's just there like how the hell did one guy just one shot you like who the hell are these guys? Who are these people and? <laughs> so Luffy's making his escape with Tama and he sees this horse and he's just like I gotta jump on this horse to get out of this place This is this is such an ample opportunity. Let's go So he jumps on the horse and he's like what a great time what a great time in charge and he's dashing out of the towards the gates and stuff like that And all you hear is like yeah and who's hugging me and I was like what so it turns out he jumped on uh, he jumped on uh, speed and she turns around like what the heck what the hell are you doing on my, on my back and Luffy's just like huh? a human I, I really like this part it's so funny uh, so but Luffy's convinced he's like no nah, it's gotta be a horse it's, it's definitely a horse I mean like, I, there was, there's no way I'd jump on the back of a human right I mean like come on come on Luffy so he tells Tama to make like one of her kibidango things uh, to to because he knows that when she feeds it to an animal, she is able to tame the animal and then control the animal. So he's he that's his like logical progression. Uh, but Tama when she when she does it, she's like it's it's impossible. It's not gonna work on a human. And for for some stupid reason, Speed just like it, she eats the dango. She's like yeah, it looks yummy. And instantly she's tamed by Tama. So this is where a, a lot of people are gonna be talking about the same thing. This is why. Uh, Holdem had possession of Tama, why they were after Tama, because it looks like her Dango ability, her Devil Fruit, is able to tame Smile Devil Fruit users, which is a big thing considering they're up against a crew of Smile Fruit users. They're up against a crew who have ingested multiple, many, like the majority of the crew have ingested artificial Devil Fruits, the Smile Devil Fruits. So it seems like if a human consumes that Devil Fruit, then Tama is able to control them by having them eat the dango from her devil fruit ability. So that's why they're all, why, that's why she's so important and pivotal to the beast pirates. That's why they want her, because every one of the fake fruit is basically screwed in her presence if, they, if they're if they unaware of the fact that they shouldn't eat something that like ripped off of her body. So Luffy's just like, oh yeah, it's probably because she's half horse, but it's most likely because of the fact that she's eaten a smile devil fruit. So they then make their way out of the, out of the village or out of the town. Uh, and and it's over here that Thomas t tells Luffy she's like you reminded me you were just like Ace when you did that attack because you know the flame Red Hawk and Ace had a flame the Devil Fruit had the fire Devil Fruit the Meta Meta on me and Luffy doesn't hear this properly he's like oh, what, what was that and she's like ah oh, nothing nothing but she just hugs him tighter so it seems like Tama is like really really rubbing off uh, or really getting closer and tighter with Luffy. Uh, and she doesn't really know why she he, she just feels like he resembles Ace, and I can't wait for the fact uh, for the day where he actually says, "Oh yeah, actually Ace was my brother," because she's gonna go ape. She's gonna be like, "Holy shit!" Like, and uh, and also like I think she's he's already told that Ace died, but she doesn't know of his relation to Ace. So once she finds that out, she's gonna be bawling tears because she's gonna be like, "Oh my god!" Like two two of the same, basically two brothers from the same family, I suppose. Uh, uh, like have been helping me out throughout this whole one old thing. So. Yeah, I, th I think she's going to be bawling once she finds that out. So then we go to Bakura Town near the front gate and we have 
Law versus Hawkins. And this is the part where I was like, minor details are amazing. And Oda, like, I didn't notice it at first. It took my second read for me to actually realize what was going on when, when Hawkins says something. So Hawkins is trying to figure out who Law is. And he sees when, when, when Law is just like, room. I was like, yeah, you've given it away. And Hawkins is just like, I, I've seen this power before and I've seen those tattoos before. I know who this is. And, and Law is just like, he's confident in Zoro. He's like, I've told him the plan. I've told him like so many times. He's not gonna take down a hold or do something stupid like that. If they if they do something like that to him, it'll be the end for us all. And I was like, well, technically Zoro didn't do anything, so it's not really his fault. So Hawkins, like I said, recognizes Law and his ability and his um his tattoos, and he's just like, oh my god. So it looks like they did form an alliance after all. So Law goes in for the shambles, uh, like quick attack. Both translations on Jaimini's box and Manga Stream translated it as chambers or chambers. I'm not sure if, like, unless that's French, as in the chambre. I, I, I doubt it. Lord never says, he's never said that. I think it's shambles, but they just, both of them don't seem to be aware of it. I, it might just be me. I, it might be a new technique or something like that. So, Law zips in and just slices straight through Hawkins. And he sees, he observes one of his men, one of Hawkins's men get sliced in half. The exact same wound that Hawkins should, should have sustained. And uh, he, he's confused by this. He's like, what the heck? So he instantly he's thinking straight away like what could his power be what what ability did he use just now and hawkins is doing the same thing he's like oh, you might as well take off that bamboo hat i've seen your ability before your trafalgar law so he he uh uses his sword this is hawkins to kind of spear right through hawkins uh through law's kind of uh woven bucket hat thing but law actually here does a really intelligent thing he's instantly kind of well he's not instantly clocked what hawkins ability is but he's kind of guessing what Hawkins' ability is. And he, he already knows that every, the thing I did, the wound I hit, uh, the attack I hit Hawkins with was sustained by one of his men. So I'm going to attack all of his men. And if you look, that's actually what he does. He attacks all of Hawkins' men. And it, 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 this shocks Hawkins. And Hawkins is just like, oh shit. And you see Law smiling because re he realizes that his, his guess was right. And this is why Hawkins is like, as expected, you were quick to see through my disguise. Essentially, what he thinks Law has done is kill all his men, which then nullifies his ability. Because if all his men are dead, there's no one left to sustain the damage from any attacks he takes. So Law, Law just says, I was bluffing. I was trying to scare you. I don't enjoy killing people. So Law bluffed his way into finding out the fact that if all of Hawkins's, uh, Hawkins's um, uh, kind of uh, shields, essentially, are, are killed... Hawkins has to defend himself, which is why he actually defended himself. So I thought that was really clever and a really intelligent move by Law. And Hawkins is uh, also like quite intelligent to remember and to uh, kind of deduce that Luffy, Law, and everyone were were in Wano as a as a unit and they were part of an alliance. So he then welcomes Law to the to Wano country. He's like, "This is the first time I've seen you since uh, Shabody, uh, Shabody Archipelago." And uh, he, he then tells Law, like, I know about your alliance and stuff like that. And Law's obviously shocked, but Hawkins just carries on. He's like, yeah, I saw Luffy and them a lot earlier. Uh, and I'm like, I'm sure you wanted to meet them and shut them up before they could expose your plan or something like that. So <laughs> he gets a call from, like, one of the gifters, it must be. And they tell him that, uh, they tell Hawkins that Hold'em had just been destroyed by some thieves and they're currently escaping and they've already reported all of this to Jack the calamity and in law's face here is just like oh my god i told these guys i told these guys not to do anything rash and what have they gone and done they've basically summoned jack so he's pissed off deluxe and then you see freaking zoro just shouting down the road like hey guys whoever's standing in the road get out of our way we're trying to make our way through here and so you just see this ship this treasure ship full of food and just absolutely barreling around uh, barreling along this road and law is just there like and I was like, this chapter was gold in terms of like the little comedic things. Like, Law is just pissed off. You can tell he's seething. But he sees them and he's just like, these guys, like, what do I do about these guys? He's he's one of those guys, I, I think Law is just intrigued by how stupid the Straw Hat crew is, but they seem to get away with it. So he jumps on the ship with uh, Zoro and with Kiku and he's, he's instantly pissed off at Zoro. He's like, I told you, you promised me over and over again that you wouldn't cause any trouble. You were meant to be in the Flower Kingdom, ron uh, roaming around as a ronin and stuff like that. You've even, now because of you, Jack is going to come and stuff like that. So Kiku is obviously shocked by the uh, the way that um, Law is talking to Zoro and Zoro's just like, he's just cool. He's like, hey, you know, this shit happened. So Zoro is then smiling. He's like, we're going to leave all this food at Okobore town or leftover town. So they 
they arrive at Okabori, Okabori town and actually you notice a few things here there's a kid crying obviously and his mom's trying to silence him the same kid who she uh, last chapter she was saying a, a child of Wano needs to be tougher than this and then you see this this lady with a knife held towards her baby obviously pr probably in the process of uh, ending her child's suffering and then you see this noose in front of her she's going to end her suffering as well but make it slower for herself so i'm just like yo this this got real dark real quick but yes yeah, so that's that's the current state that wano is in it's not something to really joke about that's the state that wano is in the 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 citizens of the country have been brought to their knees and they, they can't even beg for food anymore that's how depraved uh, they, they, that's the, the that's the depravity they're living in right now so and that's because of jack that's because of kaido mostly and because of the shogun that's currently uh kind of the tyrannical shogun that's taken over the country instead of odin and that's that's the state of wano at this moment in time so the townspeople then see this ship of full of food enter their city enter their village essentially and they they go ape shit the kids are munching down all the food you see osuru crying because she's like this is the first time in an age that they've had clean food everyone's going ape shit you see this like this local man pulling out some fish for his mom who was praying earlier and things like that and you see some like you see that bunny beard guy again and some of his boys uh try and come to this uh the village and be like oh these aren't leftovers why the hell are you eating our food and then they get buried by luffy who like who some randomly gets this huge barrel of water and just demolishes the three of them um and he's just there like this this water's free this water's for you and it's not poisonous drink as much as you want so obviously the he then tells the villagers like my name is luffy taro if anybody asks who gave you this it was me tell them it was luffy taro and they're all obviously like they love luffy now they're just like this guy is like he's given us food he's given us water they're, they're thanking him they're like how many years has it been since we've had this much water so once again luffy's doing his kind of thing of he's bringing the citizens to his side the he's gonna have them the masses you'd assume uh following him and in love with him and they're gonna be uh, essentially he's converting countries and like cities and all these different types he's been doing it since the beginning he's, con he's converting villages cities countries to his side and they they unite together to take down a tyrant and stuff like that so it's it's once again classic luffy and he notices uh trafalgar law and he's just like i haven't seen you in ages so lord just stood there and he's more calm now he's like he's like luffy this is you this is rebellion this is open rebellion against wano kuni and luffy sees um all time i'm just grabbing an apple and she's like really excited about it he's just like this is my repayment for the food that otama gave that uh, otama gave me and this is just the start of it so then he obviously jumps in trying to get some food for himself and we go back to hold him who's been wrecked and he's still basically dead on the floor uh not dead he's unconscious and then we have hawkins he's just look he's next to his cool ass looking uh moose thing and he's talking through the den and motion he's like yeah hold them and his forces are messed up big time but there were three troublesome people that were in the vicinity and even if i had been there i wouldn't have been able to and then he just cuts off and then you see him deep in thought he's just looking out like towards us through the panel and he's just thinking about something and i think like we, we all have our suspicions about hawkins and where his true feel where his true loyalties lie and i don't think it's with kaido i don't think it's with jack i think he's he's going to be another kind of beige kind of character he's he's waiting for his opportunity to to show his true colors and hopefully he's because he, i i really like hawkins i think he he looks cool he looks like joey jordison if anybody's aware of him and i really like his design so i'm hoping and i really like his devil fruit as well so i'm hoping he does actually show his true colors and uh he kind of dips and joins luffy and company so then luffy is uh, he sat down looking cool as hell with his kind of uh stick of wheat or just like whatever toothpick it is is it yeah it's just like uh it's just like a what, what do they even call it yeah it's a kind of stick of wheat <laughs> yeah it's just like some sort of plant stalk in his mouth you know very uh, old school samurai-ish cowboy-ish and he tells tama he's like don't be happy with all like all this food i'll make this the norm for you and she's just there like oh, what are you talking about and he's like by the time we leave wano country it'll be a place where you can eat until you're full every day and what i really liked here was the fact that you see otama and she's reminiscing about the exact same words which was said by by ace to her he, he said to her when we return to this country we're, we're gonna make it a place where you can eat your fill every day 
and she's she's just bawling tears she's like oh my god like i can't believe he's saying the exact same things he reminds me so much of ace the person that she 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 definitely like she she loves as like her older brother type character and she's seeing the same thing in luffy and she's she's bawling because she knows that ace is dead but now there's someone else who's exactly like him who even looks a bit like him and he's he's doing things that remind her of him like 100 percent, and he's just like luffy's confused he's like oh, that, does that not make you happy and she's like of course i'm happy i'm just a little surprised she's she's surprised that there's someone so much like ace that's now helping her like ace would have done so zoro's just there telling luffy that he's being too reckless and that they've got a full-blown pursuit on their hands and he, they need to prepare and law's just like shut the, shut the hell up boy like this is your fault as well so he tells luffy and zoro okay we're gonna make a move we're gonna go to odin's castle or the ruins of Odin's castle, and we're gonna meet the ghosts of the Wano country. So Luffy's just like, what are you talking about, what ghosts? So Zoro's speaking here, like he's like, he says, you'll be surprised when you see them, I think that was the law. And then Zoro's like, I was surprised when I saw them. And then he, he tells Luffy that you're gonna learn of an unbelievable truth. And then the chapter ends with us seeing kind of the the gravestones, the kind of tombstones of Kozuki Odin. Now we thought he was already dead, so that wasn't too surprising. Then we see Retainer Raizo, Kozuki Momonosuke. We see uh, another Kozuki behind uh, Odin, probably his wife. We see um, Retainer Kinemon. We see Retainer Ki Kanjuro, and then we see a Retainer on the far right. I can't. Uh, we can't make out his name, and a Retainer on the far left, whose name whose names we can't make out. But essentially, these are graves for all, like for at least four of the people that we know are still alive or should still be alive. And then there's Odin's grave as well. So it's confusing because what, like, are these just graves that were set up to fool the masses, or are there actually bodies in there? Uh, who, who are the Kinemon, the Monoske, Mon Raizo, and everything we know? Are they the real people? So it brings up like questions. But I don't think it's going to be anything like are they 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 fakes or anything like that. I think this is just to kind of fool the masses so that they could make their way out of Wano without being questioned too heavily. So we'll see where this goes, but there's definitely an unbelievable truth that we're going to find out anyway. So I have no idea what that's going to be. But this has been a long review. Let me know what you guys thought of this chapter. Let me know what you guys thought of this review. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in a bit.